Good afternoon, friends. Let's read our Bible today, friends, in the book of First Samuel, chapter 10. Then Samuel took a flash of oil and poured it on Saul's head and kissed him, saying, As the Lord anointed you leader over his, inherit over his inheritance, when you leave me today, we'll meet two men near Rachel's tomb, <coughs> excuse me, at Selza on the border of Benjamin. <coughs> they will say to you, the donkeys you set out to look for have been found. Now your father has stopped thinking about them and is worried about you. He is asking, what shall I do about my son? Then you will go on from there until you reach the great tree of Tabor. Three men going up to God at Bethel will meet you there. One will be carrying three young goats, another three loaves and bread, and another a skin of wine. They will greet you and offer you two loaves and bread, which you will accept from them. Accept from them. After that, you will go to Gibeah of God, where there is a Philistine outpost. As you approach the town, you will meet a procession of prophets coming down from the high place with lyres and tambourines, flutes and harps being played before them, and they will be prophesying. Prophesying, The Spirit of the Lord will come upon you in power, and you will prophesy with them, and you will be changed into a different person. Once the signs are fulfilled, do whatever your hands find to do, for God is with you. Go down ahead of me to Gilgal. I will surely come down to you to sacrifice burnt offerings and fellowship offerings, but you must wait seven days until I come to you and tell you what you are to do. Saul made king. As Saul turned to leave Samuel, God changed Saul's heart, and all these signs were fulfilled that day. When they arrived at Gebiah, a procession of prophets met him. The Spirit of God came upon him in power, and he joined in their prophesying. When all those who had formerly known him saw him prophesying with the prophets, they asked each other, What is this that has happened to the son of Kish? Is all also among the prophets? A man who lived there answered, And who is their father? So it became a saying, Is all among the prophets? After Saul stops prophesying, he went to the high place. Now Saul's uncle asked him as, at, and his servant, Where have you been? Looking for the donkeys, he said. But when he did so, they, they were not to be found. We went to Samuel. Saul, Saul's uncle said, Tell me what Samuel said to you. Saul replied, He assured us that the donkeys had been found. But he did not tell his uncle what Samuel had said about the kingship. King, kingship. Samuel summoned the people of Israel to the to the Lord at Mizpah and said to them, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. I brought Israel up out of Egypt, and I delivered you from the power of Egypt, and all the king's kingdoms that oppressed you. But you have now rejected your God who saves you out of all your calamities and distresses. And you have said, No, no, set a king over us. So, so now present yourselves before the Lord by your tribes and clans. When Samuel brought all the tribes of Israel near, the tribe of Benjamin was chosen. Then he brought forward the tribe of Benjamin, clan by clan, and Matris clan was chosen. Finally, Saul, son of Kish, was chosen. But when they looked for him, he was not to be found. So they inquired a further of the Lord, Has the man come here yet? And the Lord said, Yes, he has hidden himself among the baggage. They ran and brought him out as he stood among the people. He was a head taller than any of the others. Samuel said to all the people, We see the man the Lord has chosen. There is no one like him among all the people. Then the people shouted, Long live the king. Samuel explained to the people the regulations of the kingship. He wrote them down a scroll and deposited it before the Lord. Then Samuel dismissed the people each to his own home. Saul also went to his home in Gibeah, accompanied by valiant men whose hearts God had touched. But some troublemakers said, How can this fellow save us? They despised him and brought him no gifts. But Saul kept silent. So here, guys, uh, <clears throat> it was all about Saul. And um, Saul was chosen to be king of Israel. And on that day, um, Samuel um, commanded Saul to many things to as he journeyed to different places and he he followed it he followed it and um obeyed the commands that the, the, that Samuel said to him and and he was and Saul was 
chosen as a king of Israel and because he was chosen by the Lord to be a king because of um, he was a good man and the Lord was pleased to him and he became king and the people also were happy because Saul, Saul became king and he was a good man and um, obey the Lord and love the Lord um, like us guys um, during our times we have no kings right in, in, our, in the Philippines there is no king but only president so those, those people are they are chosen by the Lord to, to govern the people and to lead the people and also leaders of the church were also chosen by the Lord to to lead the people to God and also for us guys you have um, different role in, in this world we are chosen by God in, into, into different roles and um, though we're not kings or queens but we are to really accept what the Lord has had chosen for us and to really obey it so enjoy your role in this world guys and do it with the love of the Lord and with the love of the people be obedient to the Lord and be good to all the people and so that um, um, God will be will will be happy for us for all the things that um, he has given us and for all the rules in rules of rule the, for the rule that he had given to us in our lives you have different roles in this world so enjoy the role you have right now and always ask the guidance of the lord and obey the good people that are leading you right now be wise in listening to other people just rely on god and to some good people who are guiding you so god bless and good afternoon